Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the sound effects and adjust other sound settings on your Mac OS device. This will allow you to change the sounds that are played when an alert sound occurs. It will also allow you to change additional settings such as the balance from left to right of the sound and also output and input devices. It's a pretty simple process, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so this process will work on all modern Macs and the way we do it is we'll go to System Preferences. Then we go to the sound icon here, it's sort of uh, in the bottom half of the settings page here. So just click on sound and then you'll see a page like this. So if I just change my volume to the Mac Mini speakers here so that you can hear it you've got the different alert sounds. So boop is actually the default one, so you can hear that here. Yep, so that's the default one you hear when there's an error. So for, for example, if I try to quit finder, you'll hear that sound. But if we change it to something like breeze, you have different sounds or bubble, crystal, funky. And for example, if we set it to funky, then if we try to make that same error sound, you'll hear that sound. Then. So that's just an interesting way to change the alert sounds. And you've got all of these options here, so there's plenty to choose from. For now, though, I'll just set it back to the default. And then you can say play sound effects through, and then you've got the option, a drop-down menu here. Selected sound output device, so that's just what the computer's currently using, or you can force it to use a particular uh, output device here. You can also change the alert volume, say how loud it's played. Um, you've got off, on and everywhere in between. Uh, you can ask it to play the sound on startup, play user interface sound effects or play feedback when volume is changed. So you've got plenty of options there. And if we actually turn on play feedback when volume is changed, It'll actually mean that you hear it when I change the volume. So if I do this now, you can now hear when I'm changing the volume. If I turn it off, it'll just be silent like it is by default. We also have the option to change the output volume here of the computer. And we can also uh, say whether we want to show the volume icon in the menu bar. Now, if we go up the top here, we can see that there's also output and input. So we'll go and have a look at the output menu here. And here you can change what device is outputting the volume. So at the moment, I've selected the Mac Mini speakers so that you can hear it when I play it. But if I select my headphones now, I'll be able to hear all the sounds and it'll come into my ears. Or I could also choose my monitor. But I'll leave it back to Mac Mini speakers for the moment. And you can see that there's usually some settings for the selected device, but here it says the selected device has no output controls. And once again, we have the output volume uh, section at the bottom here, which will stay no matter what menu you're on in the sound section. Now, we can also have a one last look at the input section. And you'll see here that this is my external microphone. So this is what I'm using to record my audio right now, so my voice, and you can see here the input level is changing as I talk. Now, there might be some other sources here, but at the moment I've only got one device connected that can do audio input, but if you had like a MacBook or an iMac, for example, they would have built-in microphones, so you might have a couple of options here. I can also change the input volume here, uh, but I'm going to leave that at 50% but as default because if I start changing that, that might uh, mess around with the recording and then once again we can always change the output volume so yeah that's a really quick and easy process on how to adjust the sound settings on your mac device and it's great if you want to change some sound effects or adjust input or output devices or other settings to do with sound so yeah hopefully this was helpful and you've had some good success with adjusting the sound settings on your 
Mac device. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other videos you would like to see to do with Mac OS settings and some quick tips and tricks on how to use it. Thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.